All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Shark RF Open Spot to connect to the Brandmeister network. It's a simple process, very simple. Doesn't require a whole lot. You can do it in like a minute. It's really not difficult, but but some are having some difficulties. Uh, questions on Facebook and, and uh, social media that people are having questions of how to set up the Shark RF open spot. So I figured I'd take a moment to explain how to do that. What you first need to do is obviously connect your open spot uh, to your home internet uh, through the ethernet cable. Uh, apply power um, and then find out what your open spot's IP address is. If you look down here in the bottom left hand corner um, my open spot ID is that right there yours will be different this is just my open spot ID number or my IP address for the open spot yours will most likely be different so find the IP address okay um, for your open spot and punch that into your web browser a lot of times you can just put in open spot in your web browser and hit enter it'll open or if you do open spot dot local and then hit enter it should open um, either way you need the IP address to uh, go to the open spot but once you load it here it is this is the login page for the open spot and the password is nothing more than open spot you just tap in open spot right there and then click login and it logs you in here and then this is what you'll see as far as the page you got status page this is just tells you the status of your open spot and of course status is connect or not set then you got the connect this page which is the one page you need because um, oh, this is going to determine all your connections to where you want to connect to as far as fusion D star DMR goes. Then you got your modem page. Um, pretty simple. You're gonna set the frequency for the open spot. You're gonna tell it which radio you are using. This is for the radio you're using. Um, as far as you know, what are you doing? And then this is your settings page. Of course, if you want to log out, you can log out there. What you really need to do is you go need to go to your connector page. Um, down here at the bottom, which says advanced options, you need to click that. It shows you a few more options. Um, you need to select one here. Homebrew MM DVM. You need to select that. It's going to open up more options here. I'm going to ignore that for the time being. Go open up more options here for your DMR homebrew. Need to set your frequency. My frequency for my open spot is that right there. You need to set your frequency. Right there. Need to select the server. A lot of people, you know, you can select 3101, 3102. 3103 or 3108. I like 3108. Okay. You set it there. Call sign. You need to add your call sign. You need to add your DMR ID number. And then, of course, the server password is password. Okay. Just like that. Mine is different. Okay. Because I went in and, you know, through the Brandmeister web and actually change my password for my ID number so I got a different server password then because this is the default server password you can also do the same and log in to the to the brandmeister.network website create an account and go in and you can actually change the password as well if you want a different password I chose not to use the default password so I'm not going to input my password because I don't want nobody to know it obviously so input your password which this is the default okay and then you would click 
save make sure you click save every time you make a settings change because if you don't it will not save it okay then the next tab you need to click on is modem okay and this is similar basically you just want to tell it to be in a DMR hotspot most radios are mode D with MD380 it's it's mode D for the audio or the demodulation mode um, if you're using a CS580 it's gonna give you mode D as well um, and that's pretty much it as far as setting up the open spot you click save there to save it you click save there to save that it's gonna say modem and it is and it tells you all the stuff here the settings um, you really don't have to do much here um, it's just default stuff. I mean, if you want to, you can set your location. You know, you can modify stuff if you really want to. You don't really have to. Um, and then you can go back to status and it will show you here. It's going to tell you here, connector connecting because, well, it's not going to connect because my password ain't right. Um, but if you hang on one second, I'll be right back with you and we'll, we'll set my password and, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I set my password, okay, because I didn't want to show that to the general public because it's private. So I, I, I put in my password. I'm connected. Um, I'm standby mode. I'm connected to the static talk groups on Brandmeister. Um, and that is it right there. And with that, I will also can do an echo test right here. As we're doing it, because you'll see everything here in, in the status window. Okay, 4K NJ echo test. So look at that. Why ain't it doing an echo test? Because I didn't do it right. And this is live folks. I don't I don't do no video editing. Because I believe in brand new live action. No video editing. No nothing to, to catch your attention. This is all live. But here we go. We'll do a, we'll do another echo test. Echo test must be done with a private call. I did it with a group call just a minute ago. But you gotta have a private call doing an echo test. Hold on one second. Here we go. Okay, 4K NJ Echo test. Okay, 4K NJ Echo test. And as you see, when I first did the Echo test right there, I did it as a group call. But you got to do it as a private call. Once you do it as a private call, it works. So that's really the setup of the open spot. Um, you go to connectors, you set the stuff I, I did, you can replay that back if you need to. I'm not going to show you to connect this page again because now my password's there. If I show it to you now, you'll see my password, right? Um, I can show you the modem page. And that's basically the modem page um, right there. And uh, and then, of course, you, you got your settings. If you really want to do any adjusting there, you really don't have to. Uh, the DMR SMS, I really hadn't figured this out. really ain't played with it much. Uh, you can if you want to. And of course, there's your status page. And anything you connect to will show up there. Okay? Yeah. Everything shows up there, right where you're at. Let's see if I can. I've got a 3100. Let's see if we can get some activity here. See, somebody keyed up. But that's that talk group 3100. And this, obviously you can tell it showed up right here in the uh, status list here. And you can actually adjust this down too, by the way. If you get it right, it, it'll, it'll drag. You may a little bit bigger if you want. But that's basically the setup. I, I don't know why people say it's so hard. I mean, it literally took me just even doing the video a minute uh, to get it connected to the Brandmeister network. Uh, so um, I hope it helps. Um, 
I'm not trying to downgrade anybody. Um, you know, this stuff is easy for me. Um, I understand if it could be hard for other people. Um, I really do. Hopefully my videos, are, you know, help. Um, share the video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Contact me directly if you need help. Uh, my call is K4KNJ, which is Kilo 4 Kilo November Juliet. Uh, you know, get up with me. I'll help you as much as I can. Um, you know, connect to talk group 3145. I'll help you there as much as possible. Talk group 3145.9, which is the PD talk group. Uh, connect there. I'll try to do as much as I can to help you if you need help. Uh, email me. I'll try to help. Um, and with that, um, this is setting up the Shark RF open spot to use on the Brandmeister network. And people are just good chunking talk group 3100, which is normal. It's normal why I don't connect to 3100. So if you took the video where I did the MD380 programming, you take this video, you watch them both. Um, you could be literally up on the open spot in just a matter of minutes. So I hope it helps. Um, have a good day. And uh, stay tuned. I'm sure we'll do another video at, at some point in time in the near future. For now, this is K4KNJ, and we'll be clear.